but I am not sad because Jesus said, Bless the ones who are persecuted for righteous sake because they will be rewarded in heaven. Yes, yes, you are right, Grandpa. I should rejoice, but I have pain. Ouch, ouch. Okay, okay. I am going to sleep, Lily, because my back is hurting me. Bye bye. Okay, bye bye, Grandpa. you're doing good. Do you know that today we'll continue the story and today we'll listen to the last part? Let's see all together what will happen. Do you know, sometimes while we're watching a movie, we might say, I think it will end this way or I wish it ends this way. Sometimes we expect how it's going to end, but sometimes it might not end the way we expected. And maybe we felt the same way when we knew what happened with Maid and the other missionaries. But the Lord had a purpose of all that happened. And now Tayoma was very surprised that Rachel still loved her and all the Okas and still wanted to go to them. 
So she wanted now to know more about the reason and the secret that made her like this. And so she wanted now to teach her more and faster. And Rachel also wanted to learn faster, so she'd be able to speak their language and to go to them. So Rachel started praying, Lord, please give me more time with Dioma so I could learn faster. And do you know what happened? Dioma's boss? Dioma's boss went to Rachel and he told her, I want you to spend more time with Dioma. I'll give you more time to spend with her. What? Is it possible? Why? He told her, I'm going to the United States and I'm taking Tayoma with me. I'm going to be on TV for an interview and I want you to tell everyone on TV what Tayoma says. This is why I want you to learn her language faster. Rachel was more than happy for God had answered her prayers. So they were spending more time together now. And they went to America and finished everything and when they wanted to return, what happened? Dioma got very sick, too sick for an airplane ride, so they had to stay there and wait for her to get well. So Dioma stayed in bed and was too sick to even teach Rachel. So Rachel thought this is the right time to tell Dioma about, about what? About the Lord Jesus. And so she started telling her about Jesus and how much he loved her and that he came and died for her. And she told her the whole story, and Tayoma was very touched by what she heard. And she thought of her sins, and about the love of Jesus, who came and died for her on the cross. And do you know what happened? Tayoma believed in Jesus as her Savior, and her life was changed, and her heart too. And Rachel was very happy, because the first Oka had believed in Jesus. got better they went back to their place and do you know what Tayoma decided to do now do you know do you remember that she ran away from her place and that she hated the Oka so much but now the Lord was in her heart she loves them now and she said I want to go back to them and tell them about the Lord Jesus so that their life would be changed too and this is what she did she went back with Rachel to the jungles not to the Oka's area and Rachel waited there and now Dioma will go there alone to her family and to all the Oka's what do you think will happen? Rachel? Rachel was nervous for she was worried about Dioma and what they would do with her but she was waiting for her and Dioma went there and Rachel was waiting and waiting and waiting and Dioma hadn't returned yet Oh, what's happening there? Did they hurt her or not? What's happening there? And several weeks later, Rachel and Betty, do you remember Betty, Jim's wife? So Rachel and Betty were sitting there in the jungles when they saw Dioma coming. Oh, she's coming, but she wasn't alone. There was a group of Okas coming with her. What do you think? What were they coming to do? When they arrived, do you know what happened? Do you know, Tayoma told Rachel and Betty, I told my family and my people about the Lord Jesus. And they came with me because they want you to tell them more about the Lord Jesus. And they want you to come with us. Oh, Rachel and Betty were amazed. The Lord was interfering and changing. So they were very happy and they went with them to their place. And so... They started telling them little by little about the Lord and they didn't try to kill them and you know what? They saw there one of the men who killed Nate and Jim. But you know guys, they loved him. It wasn't easy but the Lord Jesus gave them the strength and they were preaching to him and they loved him and he didn't try to kill them now. And also one time an Oka man told Rachel I'm going to spear someone I'll take my spear and kill him so he took his spear but what did Rachel do she said no I should stop him I should stop him so she ran after him and grabbed his spear out of his hands and ran away and threw it away 
he could easily kill her. But he calmed down instead and he told her, I won't spear him anymore. And it worked. And the Lord, the Lord was changing the orcas. And Rachel and Betty worked hard to learn more of the Oka language so they could tell them better about the Lord. But the Oka's language was very hard. But who was helping them? Dioma. Dioma was preaching with them. And she became the very first Oka missionary to go to her people and to tell them about the Lord Jesus. And every Sunday she would gather them and tell them true stories from the Bible. And many of them chose to believe in Jesus as their savior. And most of the men who killed Nate and the four other missionaries also believed. And they asked the Lord to forgive them. And they said, we were wrong to kill them. But from now on, we'll live God's way. And years later, Betty left the jungle and she went back to America and wrote several books about how God was helping the Okas and about the Okas that believed and people were amazed and many of them decided they wanted to go there too. And do you know that the Okas didn't all change or believe right away? But as the years were passing and passing, many of them believed in the Lord Jesus and their lives were changed so much that you know what? People stopped calling them Okas. They used to call them Okas because they were savage. But now they were changed and they stopped attacking others for Jesus was in their hearts. And they started calling them by their real name. Do you know what is it? It is Wawdani, not Okas. So people started calling them now Wawdani. And from now on, I'm going to call them Wawdani. After many of them believed in the Lord Jesus, their lives changed in so many ways. Before, no plane was allowed to land in their land. But now, they moved rocks to make a place for the airplane to land. And now, airplanes were bringing and taking supplies and landing in their village. And also, they now had a Bible. Rachel copied the book of Mark into their language. And they were able to read it now. And do you know what they wanted to do now? The Waudani believers, what did they decide to do? They thought about their enemies deeper in the jungle. And they said, our enemies don't know anything about the Lord Jesus. We should go to them and tell them. So they remembered how Nate and the four missionaries had risked their lives to tell them about the Lord Jesus. They said, we'll do the same thing. And they decided to go deep into the jungle to their enemy's area. So when they went there to start telling them about the Lord, the enemies saw them and what did they do? They brought their spears and they chased them to spear them and to kill them. But what did the Wawdoni do? What do you think? They all ran and hid it and were waiting. They were hiding and waiting, but what did their enemies do? What did their enemies do? They saw their footprints and they started following them. So the Waudani started to pray, Lord, please, please let it rain, please let it rain. If it rains, our footprints will disappear and they won't find us. And what do you think happened? Suddenly it started to rain and the Lord answered their prayers and they escaped. And do you know guys, the Waudani didn't give up. They said, we'll try another way to tell our enemies about the Lord. And they remembered something. Can you guess what? They remembered what Nate and the four missionaries used to do with them. And they said, yes, we'll fly over our enemies and say nice words to them so they would know we love them. And this is what they did. And do you know that the Lord 
also was changing them in a big way for he was in their hearts now. But that didn't mean life was easy for them. Many of their enemies wanted to kill them now, for they were preaching to them. So they wanted to attack them and get rid of them. And you know what? One day a Waudani missionary went to the enemy's village to tell them about the Lord, but they killed him. But the Waudani didn't try to take revenge now as they used to do before. And also, people stopped being afraid of them for they used to attack others, but now they have changed. So people began to steal their land and their stuff and they started hurting them. But they didn't try to take revenge or kill them, for the Lord Jesus was now in their hearts. Do you know that the Okas or Waldoni story? reminded us of many things that only God could do. Only God could plan for Nate to have all these talents so he could be a missionary pilot and to use him. Only God could take a terrible thing like Nate and his friends being murdered. Only God can take such thing to do something wonderful that is to have so many people hear about Jesus and believe in him. Only God could give Rachel so much love for her enemies, the Okas who killed her brother. And do you know that for the rest of her life she called them her family? She used to say those are my family and she lived with them for a very long time. Only God could take a girl like Tayoma who used to be full of anger and hatred and remove all this from her heart and give her to love the people she hated for a long time and to go and tell them about Jesus. Only God could do it. And do you know what? Did you see this picture? Did you? Who do you think this person is? Can you guess? This man's name is Steve. And do you know who Steve is? Steve is the son of Nate. He grew up big and do you know what did he do? He decided to be a missionary like his father and to which people? To the Orcas who killed his father. No one but God can make such thing possible. And now Steve went to the jungles to the Orcas and he became a missionary there. How could he love them? As we said, God alone can give him this love. And do you know what? Did you see the man who is with him in the picture? This man standing next to him is one of the men who killed his father. And now they became best friends and they loved each other so much. And this man believed in the Lord Jesus too. Do you know, the Lord Jesus alone can do all these things. Did you like the story? So, 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 so beautiful. Great. You know, Judy, the story is really nice, but we should learn some lessons from it to our life. Right? What can we learn from the story? We learn that if the Lord Jesus 
is in our hearts, what should we do? We should preach. Yes, we should preach and tell everyone about him so that they would get saved too. And we should also pray and ask the Lord, Lord, what do you want me to do? And if we really mean it, the Lord would surely show us and he would surely help us to know. Also, we should tell everyone we know about him, our friends and all the people we know. Also, we should use our talents to preach and serve the Lord, just like Nate. Just like Nate who used his talent to serve the Lord and he became a missionary pilot. And do you know that the Lord might call you or Judy or call me to be a missionary too? So will we be ready to go or will we be afraid and refuse to go? What would we do? Let's always remember Nate and the missionaries and how courageous they were and how they went and weren't afraid of anything. For they had put God first and they didn't fear anything. And now guys, I have to say bye-bye. And I'll see you another time. Bye-bye.